in the previous episode, I introduced you to equilateral and isosceles triangles and a bunch of other triangles. Uh, but we're, in this episode, we're going to focus solely on these two triangles. We're going to dive a little deeper into them. So, what's in this video? Equilateral triangles and isosceles triangles. Alright, so, equilateral triangles, you should already know this. So draw an equilateral triangle, take a highlighter, and so we know that it's equilateral. All sides are congruent, so let's put a tick mark, tick mark, and tick mark right there. And I also told you in the previous episode, if it's equilateral, it is also equiangular. So that means that all three angles are the exact same measure. So if it's equilateral, it's also equiangular when it's a triangle. Not necessarily true for other shapes, but for triangles, it's equilateral also equiangular all right now isosceles triangles it's a little different um, we know that it's isosceles because two sides are congruent and one side is isolated from the other two okay so the two sides are congruent and because those two sides are congruent like so kind of going back to the equilateral triangle, all three sides were congruent, so all three angles were congruent. With isosceles triangles, two sides are congruent, so two angles have to be congruent. So it's these two angles that these two sides are pointing at. So if you just follow these two sides down, these two angles are congruent. And these two angles are called base angles. So let's label this angle and this angle as base angles because they sit on the base of the triangle or the two sides that are congruent are pointing at those two angles, the base angles. And this angle right here in an isosceles triangle that isn't a base angle is called a vertex. angle. Alright, so those are the parts of an isosceles triangle. The vertex angle, the one angle that isn't congruent to any of the other angles. The two angles that are congruent to each other are base angles and the two sides that are congruent to each other. So just remember, this is really important, that isosceles triangles have two sides that are congruent and also two angles that are congruent that are called base angles. So isosceles, base angles. Base angles, isosceles. Okay, so let's put all this stuff uh, into practice. So let's look at these examples. Find the value of x. So let's first, let's classify what kind of triangle this is. This is an equilateral triangle. Oh, press pause. Draw all this into your notebooks and then try to do this on your own. And then unpause and see if you get the exact same answers as I do. Okay, so unpause. So let's look at this triangle. This is an equilateral triangle because it has one tick mark, one tick mark, and one tick mark. And as we said, if it's equilateral, it's also equiangular. That means all three angles are the same. So if this is 60, then this angle has to be 60 degrees. And if this is 60, then this angle has to be 60 degrees. And we all know that that's correct because all three angles are the same, congruent, and all three angles add up to 180 degrees to fulfill the triangle sum theorem. Okay, so there's our answer for this one. Easy peasy. So you might remember now that for an equilateral triangle, the angles are always 60 degrees. Put a note to yourself so you remember that. All right, find the value of x for this triangle. This is an isosceles triangle. Remember, when it's isosceles, not only does it have two congruent sides, it also has two congruent angles. Now the question is, which angles are congruent? Let's follow the congruent sides. These two right here, and what are they called? Base angles. So if this is 50, this has to be 50. But this one's asking for the vertex angle. So let's just use the triangle sum theorem, 50 plus 50 plus x equals 180 degrees. <clears throat> 50 plus 50 is 100 plus x equals 180 
we'll subtract 100 from both sides and x is equal to 80 degrees all right look we didn't even have to use a calculator for that all right uh, third example this one is also isosceles because two sides are congruent and so because it's isosceles it has base angles let's figure out which one the base angles are these two so if this is x then its base angle is is the same so this is x this is also x the vertex angle is 44 as stated so let's just use the triangle sum theorem x plus x plus 44 all three add up to 180 because of the triangle sum theorem now let's just do some algebra x plus x is 2x plus 44 is equal to 180 looks like my battery died on my camera so I'll take that away you don't need to see my face anyway I will subtract 44 from both sides let's grab our calculator and let's go 180 minus 44 is 136 so we have 2x is equal to 136 and we'll divide by 2 on both sides so x is equal to 68 degrees so there's our answer so this is 68 and this is 68 how do we check that well let's just add all three angles up together 68 plus 68 plus 44 is 180 degrees okay and the last examples okay so press pause draw this write this into your notes and then try to do this on your own and then unpause it let's see if you get it right so this was a little confusing because this is angle two, but it says angle two is six x plus six. So this is really if if we had room, this angle is six x plus six. Okay, so how are we gonna do this problem? Again, let's classify what kind of triangle it is. It's equilateral and it's also equiangular. So all three angles are congruent. So if this is 60, then this angle has to be 60 degrees also. But the question says find x. So if this is 6x plus 6, and we know the angle is 60 degrees, let's set it equal to 60 degrees. Okay. So we know this is 60 degrees. We know angle 2 is 6x plus 6. So we'll set them equal to each other, and we'll do some algebra. Subtract 6 from both sides. That would be 54 is equal to 6x and divide by 6 on both sides. So x is equal to 9. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Oops, there you go. x is equal to 9. Let's do this one. Number 2. So this time angle 2 is represented by 67 plus x and so let's classify this kind of triangle it's an isosceles triangle because one tick mark and one tick mark but what kind of angles are these two so if we follow these two congruent sides they point to the base angles okay this is the vertex angle these two are the base angles so that means that they're congruent so we can just go 55 is equal to 67 plus x and one step subtract 67 from both sides so x is equal to negative 12 there we go all right and then the last example for this let's classify this triangle it's an isosceles triangle tick mark tick mark but what kind of angles are these? Well, the 72, if we follow the congruent sides, these two are the base angles. And what do we know about the base angles? Well, angle two is x plus 64. 
And because they're base angles, that means they're exactly the same measure. So if this is x plus 64, this angle is also x plus 64. So we have information about all three angles. So now we can use the triangle sum theorem. 72 plus x plus 64 plus x plus 64. So for both base angles, the one vertex angle, we can set it equal to 180 degrees. Now let's combine like terms over here. So 72 plus 64 plus 64 is 200. Combine these two x's, which is 2x equals 180 degrees. We'll subtract 200 from both sides. 180 minus 200 is negative 20, which is equal to 2x. We'll divide by 2 on both sides. So x is equal to negative 10. And don't worry that this is a negative, because it's OK, because if you plug it back in, so let's plug it back in. So negative 10 plus 64 would be positive 54. Negative 10 plus 64 will be positive 54. And let's check if we're correct. 54 plus 54 plus 72 is 180 degrees. So that negative 10 works. All right, so here it is. Here are some problems with equilateral and isosceles triangles. Hope you're able to do these now. Uh, so I hope you're one close step closer to being great at equilateral and isosceles triangles. All right.